Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. This one's going to be on how to use the Nintendo 64 emulator uh, entitled Simple64. So let's go ahead and open up your browser. We're going to type in Simple64 in the search bar. You should see this website right here. So go ahead and click on that, download emulator. And you're going to scroll a little bit down the page and it's going to be this link right here. So go ahead and download that to your downloads folder. Extract that, put it to a folder of your choice. Then we're going to go ahead and go to that folder and we're going to start this emulator up now one thing i'm going to show you with this one is uh, something i like to do to all the emulators is put the save game files in a separate uh, hard drive that way if anything happens to your computer uh you'll still have you know the original save file so you don't have to start from scratch if anything does happen you can just uh you know Re reinstall your operating system, install the emulator, and then you'll have your save files intact at that location that you had before. So the way we set that up, let's do that first. Open up your emulator, go to settings. Now this one is pretty cool because you do not have to set up the settings for your controller as long as it's a modern controller. Uh, it should find it on its own. So if you do hit the controller spot, you're just going to see this. And you're going to leave everything at auto and it should find it again like i said if it's compatible with the emulator so first setting we're going to do is we're going to go in here to the core and video settings now this is the part here where you can set it up to you know put your save files in a different directory so what i've done here is i made a folder and this is where it puts the save files as you can see them inside there so what you want to do is create a folder on a separate hard drive just go to that folder right click on the line up here you're going to copy address as text and you're going to paste that into these two spots right here. And then what that's going to do is every time you save a game, it's going to put those save uh, game files in that location for you. So once that is done, the only other thing we're going to do, go over to the parallel uh, video tab. We're going to go ahead and click full screen, upscaling 8. That should give you a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Uh, I choose to have the VSync on. Uh, this, I change it all the time. For some reason, it just puts it back at the default. And I don't see any difference in the, uh, you know, the way the game looks. So apparently that doesn't make too much of a difference. So what controls it is the upscaling over here. And then the other settings you can leave as is. And we'll go ahead and close that out. And we'll give this a quick run here. Make sure everything is working. So as long as you follow those instructions, you know, the game should be super easy to set up. So basically, it's already set up for you. I'm just going to run a quick lap here. But uh, if you don't want to go ahead and see it, you know, you're all set. But this is how it would look like with the settings applied. Welcome to Sunny Beach. So as you can see, the graphics are nice and sharp. There go. And now it does map the uh, C buttons to your right analog, uh, you know, thumbstick. So if you go up, down, left, and right, you can do the uh, settings that you would normally do with the C, C buttons. If you want to save, you want to hit your F5, and you load with the F7. Now this one, it does not make an audio, you know, beep to let you know that you saved the game. So you won't hear anything, but like right here, I'll stop. I'll hit F5. I'll go forward. When you hit F7, you'll notice the game is reloaded from that last spot. So that's how you save and load the games. So like I said, super simple uh, setup on the emulator. So we're done with that one. So hopefully you guys can give that a shot if you want to try it before. It is a, you know, a different alternative to the project 64 emulator so we'll go ahead and call this one uh finished we'll see you guys on the next video go ahead and leave a comment if you want and uh please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys on the next video